morning, Lions! I'm Ariel Rodinovic. And I'm Megan Kaczynski. And you are watching SFTV3. Today is Tuesday, September 17th, Day B. Happy birthday to Jillian Halloran, Elena Kopek, Meredith Raba, Connor Harkarik, and Aiden Vogelsberger. Have a great day, folks. Well, a few things are happening today. First off, Mrs. Quirk and FBLA will meet at 2.10 in the studio. Today is also the early registration deadline for members. Grab a form outside of Mrs. Quirk's room and sign up today. The UNESCO Club will also meet today. They will paint cornhole boards, sign posters, and create gift bags for the homecoming carnival. Meet in Senora Chavez's classroom, AC 108 at 2 p.m. One other club meets today. Join Circle of Friends and make a difference in the lives of individuals with special needs. Come to the classroom in the library from 2 to 3 p.m. See Mrs. Cardillo if you can't make it. Come out to the stadium Thursday starting at 4.30. There will be tons of food, games, music, and fun. Stop by for Kona Ice, Two Brothers Barbecue, Chick-fil-A, and of course, the Little Green Machine Marching Band will be performing at 8 p.m. Admission is free, so mark your calendars for this Thursday. The dance itself is this Saturday at 7 p.m. in the high school gym. You can still buy tickets today at lunch. Cost is $20. Just make sure you bring your permission forms. And since it is HOKO week, we want you to dress up for these theme days. Today is Tacky Tourist. Tomorrow is Be the Kind Kid or Jersey Day. Thursday's Dynamic Duo Day, and Friday is Green and White Day. Get into the school spirit and participate. In other news, reps from St. Bonaventure, Queens University, Pitt, and the Universal Technical Institute of Pennsylvania will be here today. This is your chance to ask questions and see what school is best for you. Pitt Bradford and Washington and Jefferson College will be here tomorrow. Log into Naviance to see all visiting schools and to sign up. Well, Halloween is not too far away. The Random Acts of Kindness Committee is holding a costume drive called Halloween Dreams from September 23rd to November 4th. Consider donating gently used costumes to the students in need. Bins will be located throughout the school starting next week. A few clubs meet tomorrow. The Global Leadership and Model UN Clubs will have their first meetings from 2 to 3 p.m. in Mrs. Quirk's room, AC 105. If you are interested in international affairs and global issues, check it out. Super Stew and his comic book club will also have their usual meeting tomorrow after school, and Quiz Bowl will meet starting at 3 p.m. If you love trivia, check out this club. As for the rest of the week, the CSI Club will meet on Thursday in Mr. McGowan's room. They will elect officers and design this year's t-shirt. Don't miss it! And lastly, DSA will meet on Thursday in Mrs. Scott's room from 2 to 3 p.m. Come help this club spread acceptance for all. That does it for today's news. It's Trivia Tuesday. Have a great day, Lions. It's Trivia Tuesday. Why is the sky blue? Why is the sky blue? I don't know. Oh. God. Oh, there's a, a scientific reason. There's like when it rains, the rain like goes back up. But space is black and it's far away. So it reflects off the ocean. Because uh, it's not white. Because it couldn't be red. Why? Because it couldn't be red. Because it looks nice. I'm going with that. The short, sweet, and simple answer is because of the scattering of uh, light off of air molecules. 20 minutes later. So air molecules are much, much smaller than the wavelength of light. And blue light, which has a smaller wavelength, scatters more. 346 minutes later. Uh, the blue and the violet scatters more than the red and the orange. So that's why the sky is blue. Thanks for watching. And thank you, Mrs. Abib. Now, um, would you like to ask a follow-up question? That was perfect. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to know why sunsets are red? Sure. Okay. <laughs> why are sunsets red? So let's continue the story. Two answers for that one. Uh, again, it's it's these are complex phenomenon, but the short and simple answer is because of scattering.